Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. Over the years, I've made a lot of videos about custom brushes. Well, over that time, I've started to gravitate more and more towards tool presets. So the first thing that's worth comparing is just what is a custom brush and what is a tool preset? Custom brushes are something shared by the brush tool and the eraser tool. So for instance, I can choose this hard round to be my brush. I could then switch to the eraser tool, right click, and choose this to be my eraser. But what they don't do is they don't sit on your screen like a box of tools. It's this somewhat hard to read menu with all these different numbers on it. Well, I've always liked software like Corel Painter where you have little icons of the various tools. It kind of feels more like an actual art desk. Well, even though it's not exactly the same, I really like Photoshop's tool presets for this reason. Because the first thing you'll notice about these is that it's not limited to just brush and eraser. For instance, I can click once to pick the charcoal tip. I can click another time to choose the vinyl eraser. But I can also click to get the paint bucket. Or I can use my mixing cloth, which is a nice blending instrument, and it happens to be the mixer brush. Now, when it comes to my process, I don't really use the mixer brush much. I just use this one specific instance that I've called the mixing cloth. And then more often than not, I'll go immediately back to something like the brush tool or maybe to the eraser tool. So the really nice thing is that this combines two actions in one. It switches tools, and then it also switches to the specific tool preset, where I might have traditionally hit the B key to switch the brush and then the eraser tool with the E key, and then change the specific eraser I want. This does all that in sort of a pre-canned motion. So as you might expect, what I use this for is convenience. I pick the tools that I use the very most, and then I make a list of them. Now it's not to say I don't have custom brushes. If I hit B to go to the brush tool, and then right click, I still have all these options. They're very much available to me. I simply prefer tool presets as a curated selection of my very favorites. Now making them is very easy. So as an example, I'll make a variation of the flat round. I'm actually gonna include a color. So if for instance, I always wanted to have like a blue sketching tool that I was then gonna do line work on top of, I could pick a width, I have my blue color, and now I just say blue sketcher, make sure to include the color and then hit okay. So now on my list, I can go from pencil. We'll say I'm using black for the pencil. And then I want to quickly grab the blue sketcher. It remembers all of those features. Now, an important aspect of my layout is that this stays one size and doesn't need to scroll. So for instance, if this were short because I needed some empty space here, now I have a scrolling menu. At this point, it's less useful. What I love about tool presets is their immediacy. So to keep the list short, I have to either be very considerate about what things I add to it, or to have categorical lists. And this is easier than it sounds. So for instance, right now, I have a few different sets combined. But I can go here to Replace Tool Presets. I'm not going to save the current one. And I can just pick a list. So for instance, here are the three tools that make up my vectors. If I'm doing a technical drawing, this might be all I need. And if that's true, I can keep this very small. And if it's really, really small, I might even keep it right on top of my work surface. So there, I'm doing my drawing and I can just grab tools very quickly and easily because it's right here. But more often than not, I have a few more tools than that, so I need it to be a little bit bigger. And so I will replace the tool presets and go to my basics list. And here you can see I've set it to be large list that enlarges the text size. And I would call this acceptably small. It's got a lot of utility, all the stuff I normally use, but it only takes up about the same amount of space as my layers palette. Now the final feature I would include in this overview of tool presets is the preset manager. This is where you'll save out sets if you wanna make categorical lists, but the even neater feature is you can just rearrange these. So for instance, if I wanna have my mixing cloth at the top of the list. All I do is drag. So easy. Then I say done, and their mixing cloth is at the top. So as you're designing your workspaces, 
I really urge you to consider tool presets as an alternative to custom brushes. It requires a little more work up front, but when you actually sit down to paint, it makes the whole process much smoother. All right, have fun painting and thanks for coming to the site.